students and welcome to another module on software evaluation. As we saw, when technology was at its infancy in the 1980s, the role of software evaluations was very technical and most of its emphasis was on interactivity and quality of sound, graphics and feedback. As we, as we progressed to the 1990s, there became an increasingly, fo increasingly greater focus on pedagogy and educational logic embedded in the technical design. However, the technical focus lingered. In the year 2000, Nisani 2000 shows us the importance of progressive educational concepts that must be embedded in the learning objects and other forms of educational technology we see. Example, video, film, website, blog, etc. This module will elaborate on educational concepts that began to be explored and emphasized in educational software design and evaluation. Analysis questions. As we commence this module, I would like you in your tutorial group and in WebKF discussion forum to reflect upon and dissect the following questions. What criteria do you think was important when technology was at its infancy in the year 2000? What is and should be the role of real life examples and simulations in educational technology and in the design of educational software evaluations? According to Nissan C. 2000, instructional adequacy is the most important criterion, both from a theoretical and from a practical perspective. Second to this was the variety and number of exercises, the aspect of developing students' creativity and critical thinking capacity, presentation of accurate information, being free from scientific errors, individualizing learning, being in accordance with the pedagogical level of the students, and being enriched through the use of, use of a variety of sound effects, images, videos, and animations. While technical features remain intact, they do not remain the focus and are assessed on how well they support the pedagogy and instructional unit. Moans educational criteria. In the year 2000, the Ministry of National Education of the Republic of Turkey, otherwise known as MON, developed a criteria. The criteria is based on the following four areas. One, curriculum adequacy. Two, instructional adequacy. Three, programming adequacy. And four, cosmetic adequacy. These items which focus on pedagogy include consistency with the curriculum and adequacy to the pedagogical level of the students where consistency with the curriculum has been the primary one. Any software which could not correspond to this item was not recommended to be taken further. Importance of real life examples in educational software. A highly progressive focus on in educational pe pedagogy in software evaluation involved the inclusion of examples from real life and simulation of abstract concepts in real life to show the students, to allow the students to experience and practice with these concepts in their actual lives. In knowledge building, this idea is consistent with the real idea authentic problem principle 2003. Study findings consistent with the literature. As previously stated, in the study by Moen, they found that instructional software must be supportive of the curriculum. It must ensure interactivity with the student and motivate the students. It should reinforce the ideas through the use of drills and exercises and of having simulations to present abstract concepts to students. These criteria are more in line with progressive and modern pedagogy which are reflected in the learning objects we see in the technology projects today. Synthesis questions. As we bring this module to a closure, I would like you in your tutorial group and in the WebKF discussion forum to discuss and contemplate the following questions. What educational criteria surprised you from this presentation and why? In designing your own educational software, how might we incorporate the capacity to develop students' creativity into our design and development process?
Thank you and good luck.